welcome back folks thanks for joining us on summit sunrise here we have our weekend edition here on tv8 summit and i just was recently joined here by adrian from arapaho basin and we did a little uh, weather report earlier on in the show you guys got to see that we did have quite a bit of snow in the last 24 yeah. hours which i'm sure was <laughs> fantastic for you guys so what's going on at a basin it, it, this this snow man i mean you kind of call it a surprise May storm. At the same time, the forecast was was there for this one, yeah. which has not always been the case throughout this season. Um, so yeah, I mean, we reported 10 inches this morning. A lot of it fell yesterday, but also toward the, uh, the end of yesterday afternoon, it got a little bit warmer. So I think some of the snow that fell settled and then more fell overnight. It was positive. Yeah, there you see, it's so snowy. You cannot <laughs> see anyone when you're skiing. I mean, it, this was, I went out yesterday probably around 1, 1 1.30 and it was... Still prime conditions? Man, I mean, unbelievable. We were over on Polly skiing the fourth alley, it, or um, yeah, skiing the fourth alley. It was so great. And, you know, just on the upper mountain and back in the Beavers, which reopened for yesterday. Um, yeah, it's, it's really been quite a good storm. You know, mm -hmm. it tends to be cold in the mornings, which is good. It's a great time to get after it. And then getting a little warmer, a little bit heavier in the afternoon. So you're, you know, some more of that mm -hmm. spring snow that people are right. used to is kind of what that feels like. But, um, you, you know, you really, if you want to ski steep stuff, get there early mm -hmm. um, while it's still pretty cold out and keep an eye on the forecast. You know, we're opening and closing terrain as the weather changes and fingers crossed it won't be the last storm we see this May. Yeah, and at this point, you guys are expected to stay open into June, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the message is at least until June 3rd, we'll be open seven days a week until that first Sunday in June. And then we'll kind of reevaluate snow sure. conditions through the month and mm -hmm. see if we can get any bonus weekends going. Because you guys have been known to stay open even longer <laughs> if that snow keeps rolling in. You know, <laughs> I think I've been there. I've been there for five full seasons. This is my sixth, and we've extended every year that I've I've been working at the basin. So if we can slide in that extra bonus weekend, at least one, we'll totally do it. For sure, no better time to get out there than now with that recent storm. I think sometimes people are surprised, like right in town. You know, we'll be like, oh, it's yeah. you know just rainy or like not sticking. Mm -hmm. But when you get into those higher elevations, it's it's actually building up. It's real deal winter up there, man. <laughs> yeah, it was it was kind of crazy. You know, just. Uh, going from town where it was a little, I mean, it snowed at my house just a little bit, but mm -hmm. seeing how much accumulated at the mountain was pretty cool yesterday. That's fantastic. Yeah. And you know, and great timing going into this weekend because mm -hmm. we are going to have some beautiful bluebird skies again. Love like that. We love, you know, yes. it's always nice following a snowstorm and we're kind of oh, like boy. kicking off into the, the spring concert series you guys do. It well. is. Yeah. You know, every Saturday uh, through the month of May into our, our first closing, or first, I always call it first closing weekend, <laughs> just because there's probably going to be more. Um, um, through that closing weekend, you know, we'll have live music from one to four in the base area. Um, a total mix of different bands, everything from Americana and funk to, you know, maybe a couple cover bands thrown in there. So check ArapahoBasin.com, see who's playing and, you know, put your boots into dance mode. Come on up. It's, it's such a good time. And planning ahead for more spring rail jams and festivals and swimwear day. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's on the 12th, I think. Yes, right? Next yeah, okay. it's coming up. So, you know, uh, we do have the beach, so why not get into our swimwear? <laughs> right, I know for those of us that aren't taking like our, our mud season yeah. beach vacations, might as well go to A Basin, right? Exactly, man. <laughs> you know, this is the one place you can uh, get on your skis, get in your bathing suit, bring your floaties. Yeah. Like that sweet pink flamingo. I love that shot. That's so cool. Um, barbecue going. Get a oh, Mary. <laughs> heck yeah, man. It's, it's, that's the best thing, you know, about spring is that we've got these great storms, which keeps the conditions really nice. But it's also that party aspect of, of being out in the sun with your friends. I mean, there's really nothing better than a day at the beach. And like you said, Bloody Mary, uh, you know, after you're done skiing and just really taking it all in. It's one of the best parts about being up here in Colorado. I really love this time of year at Arapaho Basin. You know, yeah. it's just so much fun. And you, know, you guys, especially with your location too, you really do mm -hmm. get that sustained winter up there. With yeah. The still, still getting the sunshine <laughs> though, you know, still getting spring vibes. So. Yeah, totally. Like you said, the vibe, man. It's just, it's this time of year. It's just really cool, really fun. I mean, it's fun all year, but there's just something about this time where it's that change of seasons. It's really fun. and. You know, you get to be outside, outside on that deck is with these views. It's just, there's nothing like it. 
So we got King Cardinal playing tomorrow for yes. Saturday for this weekend. And then the following weekend is the Rail Jam, right? Yeah, we've got the Rail Jam and Swimwear Day. So, you know, plan ahead. Check out the Rail Jams are always free, which okay. is super cool. We've got really great prizes this year. And, you know, our park guys get creative. That's what I totally love about them. They're always throwing down some new features up there. So yeah. stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, be, be I mean, keep your weekends open. Yeah. It's still ski season. For sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to get out there. I'll definitely probably get out this weekend. Awesome. Next, why not? Love it. Love it. <laughs> so where can folks go to the website to find out? I, mean, I know there's a lot of information and each yeah. weekend new bands and everything coming through. Where can they find updates on that? Yeah, for everything from your discounted lift tickets for the weekend to mm -hmm. season passes for next year, photos and snow conditions mm -hmm. at Arapahoebasin.com. Awesome. We'll check it out, you guys. Going into this whole month of May, lots of exciting things going on at Arapahoe Basin. So thanks for that great info, Adrian. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining us. So definitely, you know, as we said, we had that recent storm. I believe for A Basin, they were saying within the last day or so, we reported like 16 inches. Yeah, it's crazy. So yeah. definitely lots of prime spring skiing. So get on out there. And we still have quite a bit of our show still ahead of us. Lots of good stuff to come. We'll give you another weather update here in a little bit, get you the lowdown on the snow reports for Loveland and Arapahoe Basin. So stay tuned, we'll be back over here soon.